What's going on, AA? What's going on? What's going on, AA? We in here at Level 89 Studio. Yeah. You, know I mean? you in here working on some music, right? Yes, yeah, sir. So. Always. <laughs> Alright, um, how, how long you been singing for? I've been singing since I was six years old, and I'm 20 now, so 14 years. Yeah, it's been a long time. But I started in church. Um, one day, this girl came to my church, and she's like, she sung, I was a wretched nun. Um, and I'm like, Mom, I want to sing that song. So from there, I sung it, and then they're like, oh my God, like she can actually sing. Do you remember that song? Yes. Okay, can I get like 15 seconds of it? Oh my God. Uh, I was a wretched nun, living in a world of sin, had no hope. No peace within. Somebody told me what Jesus did. Said he gave his life. Died for my sins. Now I'm justified. I'm sanctified. I'm glorified. His holy name. Come to Jesus. Come to Jesus. Right now, <laughs> but yeah, that was my first song I ever sung in life, and it's crazy because the way I sing it now, I didn't even sing it like that. It was like I sound like a little boy, like I had a little froggy voice. It was cute though. They actually got videos of me um, singing when I was younger. So one day, everybody looked to see them. It's pretty cool. So. <laughs> All right, so. How you meet uh, 89? Like, cause this is, this is, I mean, you in, you in a bad cave. Like, how you make it to the point that, from, I mean, that, that, you know, like, how you get inside this place? Oh, um, well, what had happened was a friend of, well, a friend of mine, he brought me here about, well, last year, he brought me here, and P always said, he said, um, you know, he talked about me. So right. he like, all right, I'm gonna bring her in. P like, I want here. So the first time I ever sung with Pete, he's like, oh my goodness, like this girl can actually sing. So I'm like, wait, you didn't think I could sing? He's like, no, I didn't think you could sing, sing. And I had seen this gospel song called Be Grateful. And he's like, I don't like gospel music, this, that, and they're like, I don't listen to gospel music or whatever. So when I sung it, he like, yo, like I can't believe you sound like it's the next thing. I've sung it at least four times to different people, right? So from that point, it's just like, that's how I got here, and like I just sung, I sung my heart out. Now you got him in here. Yep. And you're working on your music. Yes, sir. I mean, yes. shout out to P, man. Yep, shout out to Love 89, you know. Shout yeah. out to him. Yeah, it's the best engineer ever. Right. Quality. And I'm biased. Quality. I need him up on the gram, too. Huh? I was telling him to hit, hit, hit my guy up on the gram. Yeah, do that. You know, ready. Um, my first, the first song I've ever recorded was um, an old song. By It's Loving You by Minnie Ripleton. Um, I've remade it me to be more modern. And the song that was written for me was from my Aunt Shannon. Mm -hmm. It's called Selfie Life. But I could relate to that song too because a lot of times women are about their men and forget, they lose, they lose themselves in the process. So that's basically what that's about. And not only can she relate to that, she's been through it. and. She just basically wrote about how she overcame it and put it in words where I sang it. Okay. So, and I can relate to it also. Like, I know when we fall in love and when we fall hard. And not, it's crazy because it's not always love. It's just we lust and we get it confused. It becomes like a minor obsession. And I don't know, it's a good song now. I love it. It's with like the little rocky beat to it. So it's not like I'm going to be depressed. I'm about this stuff. You like. No selfies, jeez. <laughs> That's a good deed, though. But, um, what's your email so people, let people know you're booking? I mean, so if they can see you, they can see you something that a hook or something that they they wrote or something they want, they want, they want your voice to be on it, you know. I have two, but I'm mainly on my school email. School comes first, right? So it's a b s s t e a s three one two three at Montaloy m t a l o y. Dot edu, wait, dot student, dot edu. 
or you can um, go to my personal email. It's ashleystrange91 at gmail.com. Again, ashleystrange91 at gmail.com. But either one of those, um, I'm reachable. I check both of them equally. But like I said, I'm always on my school email because I always got to check it because teachers. So that's the quickest way to get in touch with me. Alright. Um, can I hear something else? Can I hear something that, that you've been working on lately? Um, yeah, of course. It's What's the name of it? Selfie Life. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what I was just talking about with my aunt. It's Gotta live my life selfishly. I've gotta make me a priority. This isn't how I thought it would be. You do you while I do me. <laughs> you start over, go ahead. Yeah, thank you. I just, alright, alright. Um, gotta live my life selfishly. I've got to make me a priority This isn't how I thought it would be You do you while well, I do me I'm feeling free and now I'm happy Now that is horrible, I just like, I don't know <laughs> I don't know if it's because I'm nervous like, I mean, it's just the first time being on camera. Yes, I think that's exactly what it is. Um, right, well, listen, this is the thing. This is, I'm letting you know this now. Mm -hmm. Because you're going to have a lot of other cameramen that's going to be doing it. Too. But once you start going out, you performing, people know who you are. And as, you, as you're doing now, you're letting them know how to get to you. Right. Like, how can they find you? And um, they know your social media. Now, you don't know if you want to... And I'm like kind of stepping out of my comfort zone. Mm -hmm. You know, I, like I said, I'm a gospel singer. Like mm -hmm. I'm always in gospel. So R&B is like real new to me. Like mm -hmm. it's just, it's not much of a difference. But I, my biggest thing is I make R&B music. You can tell that I'm a gospel singer. Mm -hmm. Like you can it's just, tell. It's just, it's your string. I'm saying like, you know, you got, you got a voice. So, you know. That's definitely my holiday. That's it. I, I mean, that's why you went here. I mean, you went here because a person, he acknowledged you. you know what I'm saying, I was like, bang, that that's your uh, that's your art. He's like, yeah. I was like, I right, will. You know, this she ever been on camera to you and I was like, no. I was like, well, let's put her on. You know what I mean, yeah, I've never been on camera. This is like, bro, it's new, but it's good. So you want me to sing again? Yeah, you can. You can sing. Matter of fact, let me hear something that uh, just something that you like. One of your favorite songs from any artist. It has to be like an artist, like it any could, artist. It could, it, just sing, say, just sing your, uh, yeah, it don't matter. Just let me hear your voice. All right, um, I don't want to be all gospel. I don't want people to think I'm like, you know. Listen, people won't think what they want to think. Right. You um, just want to hear your, your, your voice. It's this one song I always sing. It's like, be grateful. Because it's like a testimony. Like, no matter, regardless of what God you believe in. And it's just like, you always need to be grateful about life. Like, the little things, you know what I mean? So, I love this song. It's just, um, can I sing that? You can do whatever you like. Alright, um, it's like, it goes. It goes. God 